Well, if you gave me a thumbs down on this video before you saw the whole thing, you missed the point. Hey there, hi there, ho there, Andrew here, and if you couldn't guess by the title of the video, yes, Disney panders to the gay community. Shocking, I know. If you can't taste the sarcasm yet, open wide. There'll be another helping soon. The reason behind this video is that I went and I saw the Beauty and the Beast movie and I wanted to comment on the chaos of outrage that the internet had earlier this year about the fact that LeFou was gay in the movie. Now I do plan on doing a separate video that is going to be a review of the movie and when I do that there will be a link that pops up above my head. And like I said, the outrage on the internet started earlier this year when the director of the live action version of Beauty and the Beast, Bill Condon, I think that's how you say his name, announced that LeFou was gay and was is going to be the first canonical, canonical? Openly gay character. Canonical, is that how you say it? Basically, it's a character that is canon to all the universe. And the strange thing about this, there were plenty of people that asked Josh Gad about his character. And not once in any of the interviews that I've ever seen that he said LeFou was gay. But what does he say? We talked about how we can build up this character and, and, and humanize him a little bit. Makes him more human and makes him a wonderfully complex character to some extent. Well, that sounded almost scripted. And another thing that I think is a little strange... Oh, should I say queer? Oh, brother. Is that nobody else that acted in the movie said that he was gay. I think what he's done with LeFou is he's brought a much more three-dimensional uh, character. So did the director hijack the movie with some type of social commentary? He is gay himself. I mean, if only the internet was able to see this major gay moment in the movie that everyone was so up in a tizzy on before the movie was released, then maybe it already went by. That was the gay moment that Bill Condon hyped all over? It was like less than two seconds. The movie was two hours and nine minutes long and we're talking about a two second do -si do and that was supposed to be the big gay moment? If that was gay, then this must really be gay because it lasted longer and was produced decades before. Way to be progressive, Warner Brothers. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Disney totally misled the gay community and everybody else for that matter. Interviews were had. There were podcasts that were made. News packages were produced. All because of the two-second do -si do But why did they do it? Maybe it's because a decent percentage of the payroll goes to gay cast members. I don't think that's the reason. Maybe it's because they're really just a corporate white knight that is virtual signaling and keeping stock prices high. I think that you have to follow the money on this one. Seriously, how much money does Disney make over hotel stays, merchandise, tickets, and all the extra stuff on gay days alone? And when I say merchandise, I mean things like the Rainbow Mickey button. And nothing is wrong with rainbows. I like rainbows. But to come off and say that LeFou is gay and that was the proof that he was gay? I've danced with guys longer than that. That doesn't make me gay. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir, I've never been up in a plane before. Have you ever seen a grown man naked? And Bill Condon was quoted saying that LeFou on one hand wants to be Gaston, and the other hand he wants to kiss Gaston. And not once is that mentioned. Not once does he try to kiss Gaston, does he think about kissing Gaston, does he say about wanting to kiss Gaston? None of that. No internal dialogue that we hear his voice while he's pondering and looking off into the sunset. None of that. But do you know what LeFou is? Two foot troll. Yes. yes. <laughs> From the movie. Yes. Who's a sycophantic yes. little weasel. Exactly! LeFou is a henchman and a loyal one at that. One that idolizes the big bad. That doesn't make him a homosexual, it makes him a lackey, a toady, a supporting character to the big bad in the movie that happens to be Gaston. Mr. Smee does that with Captain Hook in all the Peter Pan movies. That doesn't mean that Mr. Smee is gay. I find that insulting whenever you see a weak, willy, wormy kind of character and people go, oh, he's gay. No, he's not gay. And when I say it's insulting, that doesn't mean that I'm speaking on behalf of the gay community. I'm saying it's insulting as an audience. And let me sidetrack on this hero-worshipping moment here, you know, when it comes to bad guys. And this happens also for good guys. When you have a character that kind of hero worships in movies, TV shows, whatever it is, it doesn't mean that they're gay. Piglet does the same thing to Winnie the Pooh. And that doesn't mean that Piglet is gay. Everybody goes, oh yeah, Piglet and Winnie the Pooh are gay. No. 
There's no sexuality in between any of the characters. They're all the imagination of a prepubescent boy. And the same thing can be said about Radar O'Reilly, who hero worships Hawkeye Pierce in MASH. Just because he does that and doesn't sleep with a bunch of nurses doesn't make him gay. And just because I watched pro wrestling as a young boy with sweaty, oily, bulging men in tights hugging each other, you ever hang around the gymnasium? Doesn't mean anything. I mean, I wouldn't go ahead and ride Space Mountain with Ric Flair. And you can ride Space Mountain all night long for it if you're 18 years old or over. I mean, unless it was actually Space Mountain with Ric Flair. <laughs> Woo! Joey, you like movies about gladiators? Now, I'm not saying that Josh Gad didn't play LeFou gay. He might have had that conversation with the director. But if he did, I am telling you that LeFou is the most closeted homosexual that you will ever have seen on a Disney film. This was a phony storyline in the media to drum up much heat, much along the lines that the Ghostbusters reboot remake craze was. You know, where you generate as much media heat as possible to become the most relevant thing that is on and then capitalize on it. Who does that other than Hollywood? Fair enough. I just don't understand why the gay community doesn't jump all over Disney on this. Basically, Disney said, hey, let's take an existing character, not come up with an original one, a weak, cannot fend for themselves character, and let's make them the first gay character. How about this? As an audience, why don't we demand more? Disney, why don't you come up with a story? I mean, you come up with a story. Don't have Pixar write it. Put the Disney name on it. Write a story about a character that is clearly gay, not closeted, came out, very open and about it, and make a story about that character. It can be about the hardship of not fitting in. It could be about unrequited love. It could be whatever you want. But please do something daring and make it original. Don't come up with something like, well, Melissa Fint was very popular, so we're going to go ahead and make a Cruella DeVille movie. And in this movie, she's going to be a lesbian because she hates dogs and she's more into pussy cats. If you do that, you are a bunch of untalented hacks. We all know that Disney has been basically over the years buying up a whole bunch of other different companies and playing with the toys that they get during the acquisition. Like Pixar, do a whole bunch of sequels on all the movies that they got. Go ahead, buy Marvel, turn that into a cinematic universe, and go ahead and let's do movies and sequels, and we'll do cable TV shows, and then we'll do Netflix originals. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. I'm a big fan of all that. And of course, let's talk about Lucasfilms. I mean, they go ahead, they buy that, and what do they do there? Let's go ahead and do sequel after sequel after sequel, and maybe a couple branch off things too. What do you got to defend yourself on, Disney? Exactly. And please, if you want to go ahead and show some type of support to the gay community, why don't you take a percentage of the merchandise sales of things like the Rainbow Mickey button, or maybe a percentage of the movie that you would make that I suggest, and put that towards shelters, towards gays that are in abusive relationships, or those that are disowned by their families. Not some type of bogus charity that goes ahead and preaches tolerance or awareness, but actually a charity that helps. I don't know, saying a comment like that might make people go, well, what do you do for the gay community, Andrew? But maybe I'm asking too much from a multi-billion dollar conglomerate. I'd like to know, what do you think? What charities do you know about that I might not know about right now? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd like to check them out and see what they are. And if you like this video and you agree with what I'm saying, go ahead, tap that like button. Make sure you share with all your friends in all forms of social media. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified the moment I upload. And I will see you in the next video.